A campaign called Meatless Mondays was once backed by the USDA, but recently the agency reversed the decision due to pressure from the cattle industry. Despite that move, the idea of Meatless Mondays is gaining steam, and many health experts say it will lower your intake of saturated fats, if that's what you want. Food coach Lori <laughs> Corbin has some tasty ways to pull off a Meatless Monday. We try to think about what can we do to protect the environment for, you know, our kids and their kids. And so Meatless Monday is exactly that. Chef and environmentalist Susan Feniger explains why she likes making one day a week meat-free. There is that sort of 80-20 rule, which is sort of right now hip and in, which is like 80%, which is plant-based and 20% protein, just to lean us away from being such a protein-heavy country. Protein is a key component to our diet, but how we get it can vary far beyond a big slab of meat, chicken, or fish. Feniger proves that with her new cookbook, Street, that bears the name of her restaurant as well, reflecting the way many dine globally. There's many parts of the world where they get their full protein without having much meat. All the different dals, the different lentils, the mung bean, the chickpea, the ur the black bean dal, that mixed with rice gives you full protein. Example, Egyptian bus stop kushari, made with lentils, rice, tiny macaroni with olive oil and cumin, spicy and filling. Or soba noodles with firm baked tofu coated in seaweed and sesame seeds in a soy sauce, sesame oil and reduced orange juice dressing. Brussels sprout lovers will adore this dish where she roasts them with feta, apples, toasted hazelnuts, and lemon juice. Her varenki, a little dumpling-like pasta filled with spinach and feta on a creamy bed of sour cream and lemon marmalade, offers loads of flavor as well. And on those Mondays you need your meal in minutes, you can turn to some products that get your meal on the table in a flash. For example, Nate's meatless meatballs come in three flavors, 90 calories, zero cholesterol, four and a half grams of fat for three meatballs. It's a nice option for pasta, a grinder, or flying solo as a savory snack made mostly from soy and textured vegetable protein. Lori Corbin, ABC7 Eyewitness News.